Hey, what is good, my fellow YouTube fam? It's your boy Aaron speaking, and today we got a long ass video, fam. I know a lot of people have been asking me, yo, when, when can we see an updated vinyl video? Whatever. So we here, we here, fam. This is gonna be, yo, I probably won't have enough time to describe like everything I feel about a project or whatever, so it's gonna be very brief for each vinyl. But, anyways, let's get it, fam. Let's get it. First, we got no ceilings. Wheezy F baby and the F is for phenomenal. You feel me? Who you know got this? This is a bootleg, but this is the OG like mixtape, mixtape, no ceilings. Not that rebrand bullshit that he came out with. This is it right here, Chief. Next we got what's this? What's this? A hey, Kid See Ghost. This is the standard black edition. Classic. Next we got yo, put some respect on Big Sean's name, fam. If you haven't seen the bit the what is it, the drunk champs interview i gained a lot of yo a lot of respect for sean after that bro as a person as an artist everything i'm like yo and the way he comes back at kanye to, you gotta watch that shit bro solid project for real this is relapse actually this i found this at fye out of you know of all places and usually when you see eminem vinyl records it's usually the same projects like marshall mathers like the first one or you know the greatest hits and shits. So when I saw this, I'm like, haven't seen this in person, so I had to, I had to snag this. Next is Blast, amazing project. I love this shit, bro. Honestly, there's like no skips on this shit. If you haven't heard this, please give it a chance, bro. Like I heard this probably like ten times from front to back, and I rarely do that. I rarely do that. This is, this is fire. Next we got Sex. I almost, hit, I just hit myself. Sex Jeffrey himself, Thugger Thugger, so much fun. Fire project, literally a fun project. You feel me? This is Kids He Goes Again, but it's the Target exclusive version, so the, the record is pink. It's pretty dope. Oh, hitting the camera and shit. Next, we got probably top 10, my favorite project of all time. Hands down, Man on the Moon 3. It took a whole year for this bitch to come in, fam. So. I, I treasure this for real, for real. I need that picture disc though. I slacked on that. Next, we got the documentary two, solid ass project. I wish he had 2.5 on vinyl as well, but this is what we got so far. It's actually on a red vinyl, it's pretty dope. Next, we got a classic, an absolute classic, Man on the Moon. This is the standard black edition. There's one that has like a galaxy looking thing. It's a VMP exclusive, that one's fire. But amazing, amazing album. Uh, understatement. Next, we got the Carter 3. Absolute classic, but the vinyl is not. Okay? If it's not the VMP version, this shit is garbage. Rubbish. Boulder Dash, boy. Because there's only, what? Eight songs on here? Like, one, two, three, four. Yeah, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. How you only gonna... There's so many songs missing on this shit. It... Yeah, I keep hitting the... <laughs> I keep hitting it, my bad. But yeah, what the fuck is that? Next we got We got the Halloween Kills soundtrack and it's actually the splatter. There's only I think 250 of this kind. It's like a white with like red blood and shit everywhere. This is solid. I'm glad to own this. Next we have this is not hip hop but classic album Fallout Boy from Under the Cork Tree. This is like my childhood, fam. This is my fucking childhood, bro. Love this song. Love this song. Love this vinyl. Love that record. Came out in like 05. Huge fan. This is also not hip hop, but Linkin Park. This is actually The Hunting Party. A lot of people are very decisive with this album because it's like super hardcore rock. Not your typical Linkin Park sound, but there's some bangers on here, bro. I fuck with rock too. Stop playing with me, bro. It's not just hip hop. <laughs> Next, we got the off season. Great project. Um, my favorite J. Cole project is probably, mm, I'm not sure, probably either 2014 or, damn, I don't know. What's the shit from 2013? I'm, I'm like blanking out. Born Sinner. Hello, how my, hello, came out the same day as Jesus. Like, how could I forget that? My bad, yo. Next, we got Stillmatic. Absolute classic. Hands down. This is, I think this is a... VMP exclusive, it's like gray. The vinyl record is gray. My favorite song off there is probably Stillmatic or 
You're the man. Fucking gas. Or rewind. I don't even know. Next we got. Come on. Come on. This is eternal to take. This is this is the deluxe. This is both in one. Say so over so clean that they like me. Yeah, baby Pluto. There's so many bangers on here. I think the fact that he dropped the deluxe a week later kind of took away from the not the hype, but I guess the quality of it. I'm not too sure. I, I could be wrong, but I love a lot of these songs. Yes, yeah, Sersky, what's up? There's so many good songs on here. Chrome Heart Tags, Venetia, like P2. There's a lot of good ass songs on there. Next we got. Oh shit, I got records falling. We got. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say this is a classic, but this is a dope tape. Pretty underrated. Juice World and Future, World on Drugs. Super glad to own this project. When I saw it on eBay, I had to snag it. It was 50 bucks. Um, my favorite song is either Realer and Realer or Hard Work Pays Off. Rest in peace, Juice World, man. The vinyl is like a smoky, greenish thing. It's pretty dope. Next we got, come on. Absolute classic, College Dropout. I remember I was probably in like fourth grade. Was this 2004? So yeah, I was in fourth grade when this came out, and it was all over like my fucking LimeWire, blank CDs. I didn't get an iPod till like sixth grade, so definitely, you know, blank CD shit. There's another rock album, My Chemical Romance, The Black Parade. Another part of my fucking middle school journey in life. Amazing project for sure. Next we got, come on, come on, stop it. Long live ASAP, Goldie, fucking problems is annoying though. I don't Wild for the night is kind of annoying. But one train, I feel like they don't make they don't make songs like that no more. Like, can we get a lot of these rappers that are fucking lyrical as shit on one track? Can we can we do that again? Come on, you got Kendrick, Joey Badass, Danny Brown. Come on. Come on, come on. Next we got. What we got? What we got? Damn, this is gonna be hard to like snag these records from under here i'm actually sitting down so i'm doing this for youtube i'm doing this for y'all damn this is gonna be hard to take out but we in here we got father of four that fucking circle in the vinyl is so annoying but uh father of four solid project haven't gone back to it though so i don't know is it really that good but i don't know it's a it has some bangers from what i remember we got seen it all amazing project i wouldn't say it's a classic but there are some fucking pff, bangers boy gz killed it on this one seen it all quarter block enough me okay four zones where he uses auto tune that shit's a banger bro that's like the definition of my 2014 right there scrape it out of power not cook it screw screw scrape it out of power not cook it this is a fucking classic bro this is like this might be top three future for me I'm not even gonna lie to you. This might be top three future, bro. I love this shit. High demand. Hold on, man. High demand might as well. Like, Feds did a sweep. That song, whoever says future is just club songs and shit, you're not really a future fan. You're not really a future fan, bro. Next, you got Remember My Name, Lil Durk's first studio album. I remember this is one of the last albums that I actually paid for, like digitally, where I actually bought it on iTunes. This was it, fam. I actually went to the release party in, in the city for this. 2015, I believe it was June 2015. He had a whole concert for this album. He brought out Jeremiah and shit. Next we got Rich the Kid right here. I don't know why I have this. It was, I think it was like five bucks. Not the biggest Rich the Kid fan. I've been rocking with Rich the Kid since like 2013, honestly. It's crazy because I remember Soldier Boy had a song with him. Time is money. Time is money. Yeah, I think that's the song. Time is money. Oi! Speaking of Eminem's fucking greatest hits or whatever that they always have, I had to have it though. I had to have it because these are absolute classics on here. If we being real. Next we got what is this? Sue! Sue! This is Denzel Curry. Zoo. I remember when this shit came out. Like I was doing Uber at the time, and I remember like while I was picking up passengers, bumping this shit like with my AirPod as I'm driving. <laughs> This shit. Now, I used to listen to a lot of new albums like that, actually. They didn't even know I was bumping shit in my ear. That's the funny shit. Next, we got Diamonds Dancing. <laughs> Diamonds Dancing. We got What a Time to Be Alive, Future and Drizzy. Um, shit. 
it's crazy when this came out i thought it was just gonna be one of those projects that kind of just come and go but this shit sounds like it could have came out today if we being honest with each other like jersey scholarships i'm the plug like wow it kind of sounded a little more like a future project than it did a drake one but that's fine with me you know what i'm saying speaking of drake we got views a very on the fence kind of project like people say after he dropped this his career kind of went down and shit i don't know i think it's a great project i think it's pretty solid there are some skips here for me though but uh especially oh my god hotline bling i can't bro <laughs> nah but keep the family close is one of my favorite drake songs i'm not even gonna lie to you next we got one of my favorite projects of all time 808s and heartbreak man this shit right here is revolutionary like this shit is man trend setting just shout out to kid cuddy man because cuddy had a huge influence on this project like robocop bad news that song is so fire bro heartless say you will welcome to heart <sighs> that's my favorite kanye project of all time next we got yo this is still sealed boy what the hell ti urban legend i don't know anything about this project other than <laughs> other than um fuck's that shit called man i'm looking for it right now bring them out that's really it i got i don't remember where i got this i think there was like a sale buy two get one half one of them shits so i, I bought that still sealed though next we got the king of pop the goat himself the highest selling album of all time thriller had to have it bro had to have it that is an absolute goat you feel me speaking of that I'm bad, I'm bad. <laughs> remember, yo, yo, remember that dude? What is it, Ye Weirdo Yankovic? He made like a a parody to this. I'm fat, I'm fat, or whatever. That shit was hilarious, boy. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Next, we got a classic, in my opinion, 2014 classic, Oxymoron. This shit right here, man, was the 2014 soundtrack for me, low key. Like this right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, I see girls everywhere. Titty ass, hands in the air. It's a party over here. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Next, we got three. I'm going to show y'all three Linkin Park bangers. Meteora. Yo, R.I.P. Chester, man. This is a fucking classic. If you haven't heard this, what are you doing? What was your childhood, bro? This is an absolute classic. Meteora. Minister Midnight. I keep fucking hitting the camera. My bad. I wouldn't say this is a classic, but I love this project. I love Minutes to Midnight, bro. It's a lot softer, you know, than their previous work, but it's still great. Very underappreciated 2012 project. It's, it's, they went back to their roots with this one right here, man. For real, for real. Living Things, I love that shit. Hey, for your eyes only, I didn't give this project a chance till like two years ago. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I, I, I remember when I first heard it, like, wow. This is putting me to sleep. This shit is boring. This shit is nothing compared to 2014 Forest Hills Drive. But I gave it another chance, bro. And wow. From beginning to end, this is a solid listen, bro. Beautiful songs on there. Especially, bro. Especially uh, um, Change, She's My Part 2. Oh, man. There's some good songs on there. I almost shed a tear in one of them shits, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Next week, I don't know why I'm laughing at this, but this just brings me back to when I was in, like, fifth grade, bro. Like, this is such a banger, bro. Like, Hate It or Love It Remix is probably my favorite hip-hop song of all time. It's up there. It's up there, bro. Next, I got A Love Letter to You 3. Very, very, very solid project. My favorite song is probably Love Scars 3 or Loyalty Before Royalty. This is a very, very solid project. Next I got was this, oh, Lil Tecca, Virgo World. Um, underrated project, it's pretty solid. Like, out of, what is it, uh, Out of Love is amazing. Fucking Our Time is great. Back It Up is dope. There's some good songs on here. Take 10, the shit with, um, the shit with Nav I liked. When You Down with Lil Durk and Polo G. It was a good project, it was good. Next we got, pff, Welcome to the Darker Side of Taboo. This is an absolute classic. And I think it's Denzel's greatest project. And yeah, he hasn't lived up to this, I think, since. But, you know, I've always been a Denzel fan since, honestly, since his N64 mixtape, bro. Like, since 20, was that 2013? 
Next, we got Honest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to my boy Glitch over on Instagram for giving me this, actually. This is a VMP exclusive. I remember when this came out, this was like before Future Future. Like, he was he was popping and people knew who he was, but he didn't like rejuvenate and break through yet. This was, you know? But this this got some bangers, especially Never Satisfied, I Won, uh, My Mama with Wiz Khalifa. When I had my first car, I used to bump that shit all the time. On my way to the gym, my mama ain't raised no hope. My mama ain't... <laughs> I used to pump that shit. This is uh, Mob Deep, still sealed. Uh, Infamy, um, solid project. Not as good as their other project. What's the what's that shit called? The one with uh, with both of them on the like they're not both on the cover here. The one with Survival of the Fittest and Shook Ones, but it's still very very solid. Next we got another soundtrack for me in 2014, and this is Mastermind, Rick Ross. Um, the joint with Young Jeezy, war ready, the devil wanna take my life, some shit like that, huh, that shit is fire, sanctified, there's a healing around me, yo, hear that shit, man, speaking of classics, 2014 Forest Hills Drive, wow, like, this just reminds me of, like, when I had my car and it was, it was freezing, it was snowing, and I was just bumping this, going to college, like, I have a lot of memories with this shit, man. Like, love yours, note to self, a tale of two. Nice watch, run it. Hands in the air, come on. Speaking of classics, I'm killing y'all right now with this heat, bro. This shit is steaming, fam. Come on. This shit is about to be, wow, we're in 2022 now. This is about to be 10 years old, boy. 10. I'm old as shit. I had an Android when this came out. I had the Galaxy 2. Like, what is going... What is time doing? Calm down. Like, what a classic, bro. That's actually the clear Target version, I think. Next, we got one of my favorite albums of all time. I'm still young, wasting my youth. I'll grow up next summer. I fucking love this shit. MGK completely rejuvenated, completely 180'd his career for the better, in my opinion. Let's get it. This is the Walmart pink exclusive version. Next, we got... Do I really need to explain what this is? Like, Nasir. Absolute classic boy come on Illmatic is goat shit next we got what I think ASAP Ferg has been trying to recreate this sound ever since and just hasn't it just hasn't been hitting in my opinion like his most recent projects are just not that it like the shit still striving from 2017 was pretty solid but it hasn't reached up to the fucking trap lord bro it just hasn't who 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 next we got bad vibes forever a lot of you know 50 50 on this one um i was doing uber at the time and I, I actually liked most of these i'm not even gonna lie triumph fire the shit a bad vibes forever with trippy red is fire i'm i'm like please don't run away please don't stray away eat it up is fire that's like vintage x sound fucking um hard eater was cool um what's that song Oh, 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 the shit, uh, Ugly was cool. I wish it was longer, though. School Shooters with Lil Wayne was pretty hard. And then that school shooter, fuck that. I just wish those songs were longer. Next, we got Chief Sosa. Bye. We got Back from the Dead 2. This is actually like an orange, like, splatter. Absolute fire. Absolute fire, bro. Next, we got KOD. What, why am I looking at it? Like, I don't know what it is. KOD. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay project. Not the biggest fan, but 1985, amazing. Windows Pane is a top 10 J. Cole song, in my opinion. I think that shit is amazing. Amazing. I love that song. Photograph was cool. You know, I don't know. ATM was a cool banger. Just not the highest of quality, in my opinion. Next, we got Recovery. I only paid 15 bucks for this, actually, at a local record shop by me. Oh, shit. That's pretty fire. Upside down like that. Yeah, solid project. I think ever since this project, the, his quality has been going down. I, although, uh, the Marshall Mathers uh, uh, part two was pretty solid, but I think this was a, 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 a fantastic album, honestly. Nostradamus single. The single, bro. Not even the album. This shit comes with Shoot 'em Up, 
Oh man, Shoot 'em Up is on here. That's my favorite song off Nostradamus. That's crazy. The, the, this is the single Nostradamus and Shoot 'em Up off his album, Nostradamus. Next, we got Evil. Uh, pretty underrated project. Um, this came out right after uh, Purple Rain. Like, literally, not even a month after, I believe. This is the FYE exclusive, I think. It's like a burnt orange. Pretty fire. Next, we got Testing. Bruh, I didn't appreciate this album when it first came out. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was only really rocking with, like, Distorted Records and, like, what is it? Um, Praise the Lord. But this shit is low-key his best project. Low-key. This shit is that fire. Buckshots, gas, guns and butter, bro. Like, bro, hot. Bro, OG Beeper is so fire. Brother Man, even French Montana, like, does his thing. That's a solid-ass project. I, ASAP, what's up? What's up? What album at? Next, we got I Ain't Got No Type. We got Ray Schremer. Yo, shout out to Sway Lee, because at Rolling Loud, he had the best set, low-key. Like, his energy is unmatched, bro. That shit was fun as hell. This is definitely another 2014, right? This had to come out? I don't know. It doesn't say. I'm pretty sure it's 2014, though. Next, we got At Long Last ASAP. <sighs> it's hard to say that testing is better than this, but di this is fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, would, I, don't, I don't disagree with you if you think this is his best project. Like, Holy Ghost, Canal Street... Lord Pretty Flocko, like, bro, honestly, Dreams, M's, excuse me, are you kidding, excuse me, that shit is gas, fire, we got the Beatles, you feel me, this is like a lot of their greatest hits, um, I used to have this on a cassette from my dad, like, back in the day, day, what I used to do is take the CD, I think it was, and then record it, and then put it onto the cassette, because I had a Walkman, I'm too old for y'all, man, I'm too fucking old, next we got, Yay. Solid project. Haven't gone back to it in a while. Probably should. Solid project. Next we got, what's this? 21 Savage. I am bet greater than I was. Solid project. 2018. Banger, banger. Next we got Get Rich or Die Trying, but the Marvel joint. Iron Man joint. Absolute classic. Like, what else can I say about this shit? This is like the definition of, like, elementary school for me. Go shorty, it's your birthday. We used to sing just that, like at the bar, ha, like at the birthday parties, because the parents used to be like, "Don't sing the rest of the song, just say, it's your birthday." Fucking uh, members only, volume four. This is a, this is like a, this is 2018, right? Or 2019, 2019. The song Sauce, absolute banger. The video is dope too. RPX, man. Damn, we got a lot of shit left. Whew, if you still rocking with me, I appreciate you, bro. Next, we got Die Lit. This is a white vinyl exclusive. Absolute classic. I might have to go a little faster because I'll be here all day. We got Jeffrey. This is a bootleg, but who gives a shit? The record is white. Like, come on. Webby. Come on, bro. Fucking Riri. Too many bangers. I want me with it to the face. Speaking of classics. Goodbye and Good Riddance this is probably a top 10 project of all time for me. This shit got me through a lot. This project got me through a lot, fam. Not even gonna lie to you, bro. Like, it's, it means a lot to me, that project. Legends Never Die. Amazing project. Almost as good as Death Race for Love, if not better, in my opinion. This shit is... The way they constructed this album, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. There's barely any skips on that. Speaking of Death Race for Love, I wish I had the orange version, the urban exclusive, I think that was, but it's all good. This comes with a fire poster. Feeling is probably my favorite track on this, or Flaws and Sins. So many good songs on there. Next we got, first of all, where, oh, because it came with two of them. This is just a sleeve, but it's signed by that boy Future, though. You feel me? High Off Life, very underrated project, probably a top three or four project from here, in my opinion. Next, with the guns outside, little bitch, you better be ready. You feel me? Vamp, and can we call this a classic already? I'm just saying, I'm tired. I pay fifty-five dollars for that shit, like from his website. Then the next, like, it was in fucking like Fye or Newberry Comics for like twenty bucks. We got Scorpion, very overhated project. I don't see why that shit is hated so much by some people. Um, the whole first side is low key, no skips. 
You got Peak, Jaded, Finesse. Like, there's some... Man, that's my 2018 summer anthem right there, boy. Mob Ties, Can't Take a Joke. Next, we got a classic, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Shout out to my girl for buying me this. Um, shit, I mean, what else can I say? What else can I say? And I love the record itself because you could change the little box and shit to whatever you want. Come on. Next, we got a pretty underrated project, I feel like, at this point. Birds in the Trap Sing Brian McKnight. When this first came out, I thought it was the greatest album ever. Like, the greatest shit I ever heard. Like, the best thing since sliced bread, no lie. Astro World, probably my favorite Travis Scott album. This is still, in my opinion, relevant. Like, super relevant still to this day. Uh, what's this? A hey, Low Boat 3, probably Low Yachty's best project, in my opinion. I think From, From Down Bad, so good. Split Whole Time, Walking Stock. Bro, there's some bangers on there, man. Stop playing with Yachty, bro. Teenage Emotions. If you haven't seen my Low Yachty documentary, please do that, bro. Even if you're not even the biggest fan, you're gonna fuck with it, bro. Trust me. Teenage Emotions was I. The GOAT. This vinyl took a whole year to come in the mail because, you know, vinyl record companies, whatever, them shits, that shit's mad annoying. But yeah, this is a very solid project. Don't Believe the Hype. Heartless is amazing. Come on. The last song, Wishing for a Hero, is GOAT shit. This is Freddie Gibbs and Mad Lib Pinata. If any of you guys want this, let me know. I'll sell it to you. Haven't even spun this shit yet. I don't even care for Freddie Gibbs like that, to be quite honest with you. But hey, I know a lot of people are fans of him. Meet the Woo Volume 2. Fucking banger. Oh shit. That's not good. Shit's falling and shit. Hey, Meet the Woo Volume 2, bruh. RP Pop Smoke, man, because that shit barely. I, I don't think there's a skip on there. Sweet ha, huh? sweet ha, huh? Nostradamus, overhated project. There's definitely like five skips here, but a lot of good tracks. Life we chose. Do you do yourself a favor after this video. Life we chose. The set, the last verse. Read the lyrics as you hear his verse. It's one of the realest shit he ever wrote. Speaking of the one of the greatest rappers of all time. Come on, come on. This is the goat right here. Lil Pump, stop playing with him. Nah, that's actually an urban exclusive. It's like a green. I got that for five bucks, bro. That shit was on sale for five dollars. Trap Soul, absolute classic. Bryson has yet to live up to this, in my opinion. Um, I think Black kind of took his place, in my opinion. You know, I don't know. But that's an amazing, that's a classic. Next, we got Port of Miami, the first one. I actually gave my Port of Miami 2 to one of my subscribers on my Instagram for a giveaway. Uh, $20,000, $20,000. 20k sub giveaway shout out to you my boy um what's next we got why does it keep getting stuck here hotel diablo you got machine gun kelly this was like a good album bro like he you could tell he was trying to implement some rock shit into here he was gonna transition but it's still a rock still a rap album but there's a lot of melodic shit a lot of good bars on here candy with trippy red is a fucking banger next we got i don't even think i opened this yet Fabulous Summertime Shootout 3. Um, it's an okay project. It's definitely the worst out of the three, in my opinion. There's just too many features, I feel like, you know? Like, I don't know. Too many features that kind of overshine Fab. For real. Like, the shit with Lil Durk. That's a Lil Durk song featuring Fab. <laughs> you feel me? Even the Roddy Rich song. That's Roddy Rich featuring Fab. Not even gonna lie to you, but... Next, we got Skins by X. This is honestly an overhated project, like... A lot of these songs are fire. If you hear this from beginning to end, it's not that bad. Bad, Guardian Angels, Dope, um, I Don't Let Go, What He's So Afraid Of. There's some very good songs here. This is actually, I think, an urban exclusive where it's a picture disc. So the actual vinyl is the cover of this. Pretty fire, man. It's a RPX, man. That's an overhated project. Next, we got the single, Hypnotize, Biggie Smalls joint. Um, the record itself is like a brown. It's like a dark red type shit. That's a classic. R.P. Biggie, for real. Next we got... Yo, don't hate, but I like this project, man. Nav is overhated. Stop hating on the brown boy, man. The shit with uh with Lil Durk is my shit. Diamond's Time, peace. Man, yo, D.O. Runners was cool. To My Grave was cool. It's a good project. It's a good project. Stop hating. Yo, this is really bothering me. Like, we got 36 Chambers, Wu-Tang Clan. Um, fucking classic. I mean, 
not really not really much I could say about that. Next week have uh, 32 Zell by Denzel Curry. Very solid project, bro. Honestly, Ice Age is top 10 Denzel Curry. Ice Age, cold hearted. Yo, that shit is fire. Very solid project. Next we got Circles by Mac Miller. An extremely calm fucking album, man. Like, it's so soothing. This album is so soothing. R.I.P. Mac Miller, for real. Next we got Joey Badass, All-American Badass. Um, bruh. He hasn't dropped since, really. He dropped some songs, like the Light EP, whatever, but what the fuck, bro? Where you at, Joey? Oh, he he did drop that uh, Pro Era tape, actually, but the last time we got an actual project from him was 2017, bro. That's about five years ago. Oh, my God. Next, we got Nipsey Hussle. Come on, man. Victory Lap, RIP Nipsey. Very solid project. I remember when this first came out, I probably heard like two or three songs. And I'm not gonna lie, after he passed, I, I went and listened to the whole thing and I was like, damn, this shit's fire. For real, for real. Next we got Nas's The Lost Tapes 2. Um, one of his weaker projects, but there's still like three songs that are very good. Like uh, Who Are You, mad good, bro. Tanae's is cool, No Bad Energy is dope, Queensbridge Politics, but Who Are You is definitely a fire ass track. Who are you trying to tell me who I am? Hey, we got the fucking soundtrack. Belly RP DMX, man. Had to get this goat shit. The movie's a classic. Next, we got, hey, this is an underrated uh, Jada Kiss album. I remember I was in ninth grade when this came out. Um, the song with Nas, What If? Bro, hear that song and read the lyrics as you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's 2008 at this point. Holy shit. Next, I have a single, not even opened. This is a Young Buck song. It's called Do It Myself. Why I have this? Don't ask why, bro. Uh, I just be collecting shit. <laughs> they have a lot of fucking records, bro. We have Lil Mosey. Uh, shout out, yo. Stop hating on Lil Mosey, man. Come on. This shit's actually not that bad. Um, the song Blueberry Fago obviously was dope. There's a song here where it's just like the song Blowing Me Kisses, I think. Soldier Boy. I don't remember, but there's some good songs on here. This, I think this is a deluxe version too, no? I don't fucking know. Certified hit maker. Hey, this is a classic. Shout out to my gamers out there. This is Sonic Adventure 2 soundtrack. That's literally my childhood. Live and learn. That that's just dope too, cause it's like red, red and blue. Some speaking of Sonic, if you haven't seen this movie, go do yourself a favor. This shit is fire. Jim Carrey came back to his original form. Fun, fun ass movie, dope soundtrack, and the record is blue, like that boy Sonic. Next, we got Kid Leroy, Fuck Love. Dope project. I think the song, um, not Selfish, Sick of You? No, Need You need you Most. He uses the Neo sample. I love that song. Next, we got Rodeo, absolute classic. You feel me? Damn, 2015 already. Probably Nightcrawler is my favorite song on there. Next, we got Got Me A Check, I Got A Check. Yo, if you haven't seen my Young Thug documentary, go do yourself a favor, fam. Fire. It's a bootleg, but it's still, who gives a shit? <laughs> and it's orange. Hey, hey, this is one of the first uh, prints, actually, of 17. Um, with the, it's, it's just so fire, bro. Like, I was so hyped to get this. This is, I got this during the time that it was so sought after that it was like 300 bucks. <laughs> now it's probably a lot cheaper, but I paid $50 at the time and it was a steal at the time It's like a black and white like swirl shit so far next. We got we love you Tekka Come on. This is a solid project actually and there's barely there's no features too. That's the crazy shit Just the juice world remix and they all hold hold their own. It gets a little repetitive, but they're all pretty fire next I have a Lincoln Park hybrid theory collection where it comes with um, their first album, their uh, reanimation, the B-sides. Pretty dope, bro. 20 year anniversary. That's fucking fire. Next, we got Quavo. I fuck with Quavo, honestly. This was like my 2018 jam. Like, I used to fuck with working me so hard. Like, give it to him with Saweetie is dumb fire. I be eating. I be geeking. <laughs> that shit was fire, bro. But uh, yeah, I mean, this has a lot of skips, but. It's still fire. All right, we got one more row. If you guys are still with me, I fuck with y'all. Next we got, it's gonna be hard taking these out, but Take Care and Absolute Essential 
to have on vinyl, period. Like, you, you need that on vinyl. Like, it, it just sounds so much better. Like, you, that shit has no skips. Take Care is, it has to be Drake's best project. Like, it has to be. Oh, this is, there you go, High Off Life. I already showed you guys the sleeve of that. Next we got Beautiful Morning. In the sun. This is the bootleg, but it has the shit that everybody wants. The song St. Pablo. People be foaming at the mouth for that song, but pay $50 for that. Glad to own that. Next, I got the second alternate, the alternate cover to Savage Mode 2. This is a fucking fire project. This is my favorite 21 Savage project. My dog, that's my dog. He gonna ride off the leash. Next, we got Always Strive and Prosper. Okay project, okay project. This is the exclusive, this is like a uh, white vinyl, I believe. It's not even open, bro. <laughs> Shit is sealed. Next, we got Igor. Yo, believe it or not, this is sold out everywhere. Like, I cannot find this shit. I was going to give this away for a giveaway, but I was like, <laughs> let me not, bro, because for some reason, this shit is, like, mad expensive now. We got Jack Boys. Amazing little project, bro, except Rosalia. She fucking ruined it. But, <laughs> but yeah, that shit got bangers. Please excuse me for being antisocial. Probably Roddy Rich's best project. His most recent one. I don't usually say this word, but yeah, that shit is kind of mid, bro. Next, we got Pegasus signed by that boy Trippy Red on his fucking demonic shit. But yeah, overhated project. I love this shit, man. My baby, get that big good morning. Baby, what you really waiting for? We got Love is Rage 1 on a purple vinyl. Fucking hard. Fucking hard. <laughs> 7 a.m. Yamagini Dream right now. Like, top... Who the fuck are you? Hey, next we got a, a low-key a classic. This shit is dumb fire. Like, East Atlanta Love Letter is so gas. I love this shit, especially on vinyl. <sighs> Just bump that while relaxing, like sipping some wine. That shit hits, bro. We got Crash Talk, a very underappreciated project where people just, like, kind of just brush it to the side. This is a fucking fire project. Dangerous with Kid Cudi is dumb fire. Drunk with Black is hard. Fucking die with him, crash. Yo, Tails is a top 10 Schoolboy Q uh, song, in my opinion. So fire. Next, I got the... <laughs> if you guys know about this game, I'm so fucking hyped to own this. I play this game every single day with my boy, my girl. Dun, 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 dun. I think there's only 500 made of that, so super hype. Next, we got an absolute classic, Love is Rage 2. Yo, this row is bangers. This row got heat. Damn. This is like on an icy blue vinyl. Uh, what's next? We got, yo, this was hard to find. I, I went to a local like record shop, and they had this shit. I had to cop. It was like 50 bucks. This is an underrated project as well. Nas, it was supposed to be called the N-word, but obviously, you know, wasn't called that. <laughs> Ends up being called Untitled. Another Pegasus. It was like on sale for like 10 bucks, so I copped it at Urban. Next, we have the first vinyl record that I ever got, ever. And this is Question Mark by X. You know, this my girl got me this for Valentine's Day 2020. And yeah, I just became a fan of vinyl records ever since. Shout out to my girl. This shit got exclusive shit. Exclusive shit. Next, we got Imperial classic project i can't believe i think he was yeah this is 2016 yep i'm mate yo ski mass is actually on the cover if you guys didn't know that's actually ski right there but uh this life alt oh alt, alt is so fire man gook or gook whatever the fuck you call it is guys um speaking of denzel i have black balloons there's like five different versions of black balloons on this picture disc fire hobby valentine red Black Balloon. Next, we got the single, One Blood, the game. Shout out to King with a capital K for sending me this. Trey, I see dead people. Next, we got Eminem's classic album. Classic album, fam. Like, an album like that could never come out today because this world is too fucking PC and people get offended by everything. This is Illmatic Live, like, orchestra. Insane that he did this. 2014. He literally... I think he's the first rapper to have a whole orchestra, bro, for a whole album, like, live. Crazy. 
Next, we got A Love Letter to You 4 on a clear vinyl. I love this project. The Grinch. Rich Millie Plane. Got that. Got fucking... Uh, 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 damn. What else you got? Six Kiss. Like... King Von, RP King Von. I am what I am. What I'm not, see, I never beat that shit. Fucking How It Go, Demon, Armed and Dangerous. Like, next we got Chief Sosa, part of four, in a handicap. Come on, man. Dedication, amazing project. One of his best projects of all time. Next, I paid a dollar for this. I don't know. This is, who the fuck is this? Lady Luck, a single. <sighs> Vintage, bro. That shit's old as shit. Next, I got the Joker soundtrack on a purple vinyl. I saw that movie five times in theaters, bro. I'm a fiend. Next, I got the Deluxe for a Shoot for the Stars, Ain't for the Moon. I remember like it was yesterday when that shit dropped. This was what, July 4th last year? I bumped that whole project from beginning to end. So fire. Classic. Every song on there is fire. That's an absolute classic. There's no skips. Scott and Ramon is the most underrated track on there. Um, fucking Glowtoven. Fire. Fire. If you yo, bump spy kid, please. That's a fucking banger, man. For real. What we got next? We got Justice. Justin Bieber. This is the Target exclusive. I actually kind of like this album. A lot of people. I've seen a lot of lists of people saying that it's in the top 10 worst albums of 20, uh, 2021. I liked it. Sorry. Benny the Butcher, solid ass project. I love this shit. Burden of Proof, gas, man. Uh, what's next? Exclamation point. The vinyl for this is dumb fire. It's like a red splatter kind of thing. Um, it's like overall red with this fire. Um, it's an okay project. Probably his worst project, but there's still some bangers on here. Like Snakeskin is probably my top 10 favorite Trippy Red song. This is Lil Durk two times. This is his second studio album. Didn't do too well commercially but there's still some fire tracks on here like Lil Durk two times so what with young thug fire true set it off there's some bangers on there next we got oh i'm so glad to own this a love letter to you one and two bro in one so fire i got this the same day as that and that's i can't believe i'm holding this i can't believe they made this shit thought breaker Chief Sosa, can you be my friend? You are you are my number one. Like there's so many bangers on that. Hey, -na 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 -na. this is the first Halloween movie. This is actually a VMP exclusive. This is number 37 out of 10,000. Like this is so fire. This is on like a. It's another. I think it's a splatter. But this shit is dumb hard, bro. I'm so glad to own this. Like when you open, like when you move it, it looks like the fire. It's like a. Let me just show y'all. It looks like it looks like the fire's moving. Like, can you see it? Like, come on, man. It's fucking hard, man. It's fucking hard. <laughs> that shit is so fire. All right. Well, that was a bitch to open. I mean, that was a bitch to put back. <laughs> Next, we got Stokely. Shout out to Glitch over on Instagram for sending me this. This was like skyrocketing in price at one point. Like 200 bucks type shit. But now it's not that anymore. But, um, next we got Playboy Cardi's Playboy Cardi. Absolute classic. I kind of don't really like this cover as much as the original. But it's still pretty dope. We're almost there fam. We're almost there. It's a pimple butterfly. Still sealed. Absolute classic. I don't really go back to it like that. But I know it's a classic. Next we got Tickets to My Downfall again. But the Urban Exclusive. I paid 150 for this fam. It's like a smoky vinyl, and I don't regret spending that much because I love that project that much. Next, we got Migos' is Culture 2. Okay, project. Uh, Beast is fire. Stir Fry is dope. Narco Superstars is hard. It's just bloated. It's just too bloated. The Bigger Picture, single. Probably my favorite song of 2020. The deepest song. Super fucking fire. I cried to that shit mad times when it came out. It was just so powerful to me. Culture 1, absolute classic absolute classic t-shirt all them shits man what's the price kelly price next i have freddie gibbs and madlib bandana beats this is just the instrumentals so sometimes i'll be bored i'll freestyle to that shit for no reason next i got damn but the target exclusive so it's like a green vinyl super fire don't judge me my mama call me with a strap 
Next, we got Jay-Z's The Black Album, but Walmart did me fucking dirty, bro. They sent me two of the same disc one. I have both of the same, so I'm missing the whole second disc. Did me dirty, fam. Damn. <laughs> Next, we got, and last but not least, Future Hendrix. What a great way to end this shit. Future Hendrix, the Best Buy exclusive. It's like half purple, half yellow. I love this project, bro. I love this project so much that I made a whole Photoshop version of me on the cover, fam. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> Never Stop is the best Future song of all time. I don't want to hear shit. That shit just motivates me to just go outside butt-ass naked and... <laughs> nah, fuck with y'all. Pause. But anyways, that's my vinyl collection, fam. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it this far, you the man. Or you, you the girl, you feel me? If you're a girl too... Shout out to you. But yeah, love you guys. I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.